Last time the twins lost out on a field trip to the mausoleum because of heavy snow. They caught up on sleep, ate burnt mac and cheese, and went to the park to skate on the, uh, the water. It didn't work out. Cyclone was teaching Jasmine to talk. Let's hope she doesn't talk like Cyclone. And we left off on a cliffhanger. Let's pick up from there. I wonder if playing rock, paper, scissors counts as playing a game. Let's find out. Really not happy with the color of this room. What are you guys doing? Like, are you gonna play rock, paper, scissors or what? No? Why not? Any reason? Okay, oh yeah, Cyclone got his wish earlier to buy an object worth 500 simoleons or more. He got it while the game was on pause after I installed the computer here. So let's look at what he wants. Improve writing skill, play chess, talk to Valhalla. Well, we can sort of do these things really quickly. We do need to get back to teaching babies things, though. So Cyclone just taught Jasmine to talk, yay. Jasmine just learned to talk. Next up, getting her to stop talking. And, well, yeah, we earned a very small number of lifetime happiness because our game loaded at record speed. And Kelda has used the potty chair for the first time. Okay, it looks like rock, paper, scissors does not count as a game. Who would have guessed? So, let's get on teaching young Jasmine here to walk, which I think I think we already started, so... And Cyclone, you're gonna have to start doing the rounds with the bottles. Oh, yeah, and we just got our chess wish. I don't know how soon we're going to improve writing skill or any of that. Why don't you get Erica out and give bottle feet on floor. We will get more chess in, buddy, just not tonight. So, Cyclone, I'm gonna have you just teach yourself the charisma skill. Oh, we did not already start teaching her to walk, it looks like, because our bar is really low. So we we'll probably need to break and give her a bottle soon. Now, I need to watch you triplets and make sure, or twins, I'm sorry, and make sure that you guys actually go to bed at 10 tonight, because last night I was watching the video and you guys went to bed at like 3 a.m. Not cool. I've got my eye on you this time. Oh, what's wrong, Erica? Nothing's wrong. You're crying for no reason. This is making everyone unhappy. Why don't you find something to do? There you go. That wasn't hard. So I have no clue what these girls are wearing. It seems like I tried to set up their outfits and it didn't work. Um, yeah, I don't know. Kelda, you're in a great mood, so why don't we see if we can figure out what's wrong with your outfit here. Wouldn't it be nice to skate on a pond? I agree. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, you guys, you've stayed up too late. It is time to go to bed. Don't worry about that puddle. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Okay, Kelda's sleepwear at least should be taken care of this time for real. 
Oh, and we were telling we were telling Alexandra that it is really time for bed. Good night. Okay, what's going on here? Val, you're passing out. Jasmine needs a bottle. Okay, this is easy to fix. We are going to feed Jasmine. We are going to just have some quick meal, brain freeze a la mode, go. And then we are going to bed. Hopefully the baby will stop crying. Why... why are you awake, Charlotte? You're very bad. Go to bed. Like, what? Stop playing with your toy. Okay. Wow, this is just... Why are people being so bad? Creeped out. Wait, this is creeping out the family? That you're eating brain freeze? Ah, oh, who cares? Good night. Cyclone will take care of the babies. Time to start going to bed, people. Here's what's gonna happen. We are done practicing our speech. And we are going to potty train Erica. Whoops. And we are going to potty train Jasmine. And Kelda's gonna need a bottle. Eat on floor. Oh, it's gonna take forever to take care of this, but I think we'll get you into bed at a reasonable time, Cyclone. Maybe. Possibly. It could happen still. Ah. Uh, Camera. <laughs> Once upon a time, it used to be so easy for me to get pictures of people in front of the dollhouse, but... Rusty not playing for a while. Sisters playing together. Sister taking a dump. Okay. Now you need to get out from in front of the potty. Well, wow, even the toddlers are creeped out by Bahala eating something creepy. I hope that I hope that eating that creepy thing didn't like do something to her. Can you turn into a zombie, maybe? I don't know. It seemed like a good idea to eat it because it gives like a mood lift for an hour, unlike the other quick meals. What was that? Finally, Valhalla's midlife crisis is over. She doesn't really feel like she got the change she wanted, but she's come to terms with being over the hill. She completed zero wishes. Sorry, Valhalla. I was really hoping we would do some midlife crisis wishes, but 
Your wishes really, really freaked me out. <laughs> Okay, Cyclone. I know you're probably going to be getting antsy here, but... Forget meeting a vampire. We've had enough trying to meet vampires. So, we need to get everybody into bed. Jasmine is by far the most tired and had an accident. And these other two... Eh. Change diver. Put Erica in crib. Change diver. Put Kelda in crib. It'll be okay, baby. So much more orderly now that you're toddlers. No, not Jasmine. Why can't we put Kelda in the crib? There we go. So, Psyche, you're hungry. Why don't you have a brain freeze, too? Or the mac and cheese, I guess that's fine. You're gonna stink, that's fine, go to bed. I guess we'll fix everybody else's outfits tomorrow. Actually, let's- I'm gonna fix Cyclone's outfit tonight. Well, I had an interruption there, and then I got a cold for a few days, and I couldn't really record, so it's actually a few days later, and apparently I'm still a little bit hoarse. If this is too, too horrible, I will stop recording again, so we'll just see how it goes. Right now, Cyclone is... Wow, my headphones are really loud. Can't think. Oh no, he's red mood. What happened? Oh right, he's... Gosh, he's putting Kelda to bed and he needs to eat and change his outfit because what the heck is he wearing? This is crazy. I have no idea. And somebody at some point needs to clean up this room. I don't know how exactly that's going to happen, but I don't know. Oh, while I was, of course, you probably noticed while I was setting up here, I changed the floor color and the brick in the kitchen because it looked weird. It still looks weird. We just need to add on a little bit so I can change the shapes of things somewhat in here, like the arrangement. Well, I didn't realize my voice was so bad. <laughs> okay, Cyclone. It'll be fine. Let's go. Okay. Good night, Cyclone. He's still going to try to wear that weird outfit that he's got because it is his career outfit. I have no idea why they picked that. It's kind of strange. Well, we'll see. Tomorrow we'll have to tell him to put on his career 2 outfit, which I created. It looks more like a... what is he? An anonymous source handler. Okay, carpool is coming. We got some Where's Waldo points. So, Cyclone, what do you need to do before work? Oh, you need to sleep before work, but we can't really do that. 
Okay. So I'm just going to overdub what's going on here. I'll just narrate after the fact. And yeah, I know those puddles, they've been bothering everybody. Those puddles, they've come from the toddler potty. It's totally unthinkable. Somebody's going to have to mop them, but all they do is reduce mood a little bit. And you can see that Valhalla is really ecstatic, although she hasn't noticed the puddles yet as she stepped into the room. So here I must have been talking to Valhalla about something. Um, it looks like I am. It looks like I'm trying to decide which toddler to wake up and when. I believe I will settle on waking up. Oh, whoever needed to learn to walk. I think that's Jasmine. Finish teaching Jasmine to walk, and then we'll get everybody up with bottles, and then everything will be happy. And I'm probably complaining here because everybody keeps getting wishes to hire Bone Hilda. And Bone Hilda's coffin is 3,900 simoleons. We are currently at, it looks like, 261 simoleons, so. Obviously can't afford that, but I guess everybody just, well, they wish that we could. Kids are getting up for school. They're going to have some macaroni and cheese, and for some reason I'm telling Alexandra to use the bathroom. Kids can pee at school, so unless they really, really, really have to pee, there's no point in wasting time with the toilet. Oh, something just popped on the screen, and I couldn't read it, and I clicked it away. Oh, yeah, and now Valhalla is... she decided to teach Jasmine to walk right in front of the refrigerator and stove, so nobody can get there. And so I have pulled the macaroni and cheese out of the stove so that the kids can get a bowl of it and continue their morning routine. Okay. I'm just restructuring their cues. Oh, Cyclone's ride has been spotted. He's having a lot of fun on that computer. I don't know if it comes up in this video, but I saw I colored the mouse pad on that computer to be a pretty kind of pastel rainbow effect. It's very cute. So if you get a chance when the camera turns the right way, I was just particularly pleased with it. Okay, there's your burnt macaroni and cheese Alexandra from the extremely scummy counter. And we are done with the macaroni and cheese now. And here is Cyclone's new work outfit that I picked for him. It's a little bit more suitable. No more shorts with a jacket going on. Oh, he's thinking about how disgusting this room smells. And um, these pants, I really like them. They're from Supernatural. And they make people's legs look really long. They just drape nicely. Look good with lots of shoes. And I don't know if we've ever seen his outerwear before either, but there's his outerwear. I think I get it close up later. So we're looking at his wishes. We decided to forget about chatting with Valhalla because we want to get teach Kelda to talk. That's a lot, a lot more happiness. And Charlotte has decided to mop up these puddles. But the bus is going to come in a minute, so... Yeah, that's not going to work. And she is still wearing the wrong jacket. That's just great.
And here we have Alexandra is going to the bathroom, which she just doesn't need to do before school, but she's going to do it. At school, kids will eat midway through the day. I think they eat at like 1. And they will also go to the bathroom whenever they need to go to the bathroom, so... Oh, got some trouble with the toilet. Broken toilet. Okay. Well, get to school. This toilet, it does look very nice, I think. It's very, you know, it's got this pretty lilac toilet seat I made. But it is a Bargain John, and Bargain John breaks more than the other toilets do. So if you have somebody who needs to skill up handiness in your house, that's a good toilet, because it's fairly quick to repair a toilet. And a toilet breaking is not the end of the world. You can still use the toilet, it's just you'll get puddles everywhere. Since Valhalla is scaling up, handiness. I'm not too worried about getting a more expensive toilet yet, although later on, when we possibly won't have somebody with handiness in the house, we will want a better toilet than that one. Otherwise we'll be calling the repair technician every day or two, and that gets pretty annoying pretty quickly. They don't always repair things that they come to supposedly repair. So here, I think I'm trying to decide what they should be doing at school. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm deciding when the, the kids should get up as well, the toddlers. So I've decided to finish teaching her to walk before we wake up the others. And the TV's getting in my way so I can't get a good close-up without warping the, the shape of the house. My significant other has been complaining about the leopard underwear that I have Valhalla walking around in. They feel very sorry about the underwear, so we'll probably change them. But maybe we won't, because I'm kind of lazy. We'll see. Okay, we've taught Jasmine to walk. Watching her take her first hesitant steps in life is a memorable moment of joy for any adult. Snowing out. It's very bright in the house. Yeah, we're probably not going to have another child, and we're not going to get Bone Hilda. But we will be teaching Erica to talk, and that is what I just clicked into place there. So now we're waking up babies and getting babies ready for. I guess this is going to be a brunch bottle. Good morning, girls. They always think about themselves when they wake up. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, she's got potty trained Jasmine. As a wish, that's a good expensive wish. 1500 happiness. So it looks like I'm gonna attack Erica with the claw to satisfy that wish, and then we will replace it with the potty training wish. And we're going to fix that toilet, use it, and take a shower. Thank <laughs> you. 